calling for justice. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Janelle Hall. They say UPMC's decision to hire a non-union contractor is a bad move. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Amber Nakotra with more now on their message. They line the streets outside UPMC Shady Side and at times block the streets, causing traffic to come to a standstill. Get about 200 banding together as a show of support for the janitors they say were fired. The union claims the hospital fired the contractor employing the cleaners and hired a non-union contractor. Some of them have been there for, for over a decade. And there's, there's six families, six, six workers now who are still out of a job. All of a sudden, we find out that they took a non-union company's bid over ours. That we've been here for 15, never had no complaints. We're always here, never tardy. And all of a sudden, we're out of a job. Now, instead of doing the job he says he's enjoyed for 12 years, he's looking for work. It's been hectic now. I got to go out and look for another job. UPMC released this statement saying, in part, they opened the bidding for cleaning and awarded the contract to a 100% women owned business with no consideration given as to whether they were union or non union. They further state the employees affected were offered the opportunity to interview for another position. Still, it doesn't sit well with these supporters who tried to hand deliver a letter to management only to be stopped at the entrance. This city was built on labor relations. And, and, you know, you can't tear it down. The union is, is what this is. This is a union town. And the protesters tell us they are not finished yet. They plan to be back here protesting once again on July 30th.